Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. And we're going to talk about a little problem that evolutionists have that nobody's ever talked about. Because evolutionists don't want to deal with this. They don't want you to understand that there's major issues with uh, their little theory. We're going to talk about nitrogen and soils. It's going to be a little on the dry side, but uh, you got to hear this because you got to understand these people are really full of it. Now, imagine the early Earth. There have been no plants on it, no animals, no life on the surface. All's been in the ocean. And you have an atmosphere, let's say it's just like ours today. Minus some of the garbage that we put into it. So you have uh, about 80% nitrogen, which is what we have today. But the problem is you don't have anything in the soil. Now, as I said before, I tend to think that the Earth would be a giant cold dust bowl because uh, there would be so much atmospheric dust because there's nothing nothing biological to hold it in, uh, hold it down like there is today. But let's say I'm wrong about that. The original plants try to climb out of this primordial ocean on the land, but they have a problem. They don't have any nitrogen, or very little. Now, I'm not going to say there's no nitrogen in the soil, because you do get some from precipitation. This is from the University of Minnesota. And they describe in detail the uh, nitrogen cycle you do get some from the atmosphere especially from uh, precipitation but I don't think you get enough to, you don't get enough to really make a difference I don't believe So back then, we don't have anything in the soil, and you have very little nitrogen, not enough probably to even support plants going out on the surface. So you run into this little problem like they don't have anything to eat. Now a plant that doesn't have any nitrogen be all yellow and spindly and won't last very long, it'll die. Nitrogen is the biggest, most important nutrient that plants uh, have. Nitrification is a pro biological process and precedes, proceeds rapidly in warm, moist, well aerated soil. That's a biological process, so that won't be there. Dentri Denitrification is process. That's a bacterial thing. That one have worked. And one of the ways we get uh, a lot of nitrogen in soil is through these plants called legumes. Legumes are an interesting uh, case study because what they do is there's a bacteria that sticks its nose in the legumes roots. These are uh, things like beans and peas, alfalfa, I think clovers, that type of thing. These bacteria stick their noses inside the roots, they uh, form little colonies, and they uh, fix nitrogen directly from the air and in return the plant provides them with nourishment. So both partners benefit there. That's called symbiosis. Alright. Uh, 
The problem is there wouldn't have been any legumes back then, no nitrogen fixing bacteria. So we wouldn't have that process. All we would have is a little bit from, uh, you know, uh, precipitation, rain, generally snow, actually. You get some from snow. But most of today's nitrogen in the soil, and there are nitrogen poor soils, by the way, when nothing will grow. Most of that is present because of biological activity. It's contained in organic matter. It's when where you get uh, legumes where. They fix it directly from the uh, atmosphere, the bacteria do. Most of it is due to organic activity. Organic matter, things that break down in the soil. So imagine the early Earth, there's no nitrogen in the soil, and yet we're expected to believe the plants somehow I managed to crawl out of the soup and start growing. It's just ridiculous. They couldn't have done it. In all likelihood. Now, I wasn't there, obviously, so I can't judge uh, what we had as far as plants back then or anything. Was it there's very little chance that uh, so plants from the ocean could have taken, somehow learned to take root on the surface of the earth and start growing when they didn't have the primary nutrient that they needed. And this, of course, also assumes that they had carbon dioxide, which is vital, and you have certain people in this world would want to take all the CO2 out of the air, which would kill us all. We would probably suffocate first, actually, but... Because it would kill off all the plants that produce the oxygen. That's another uh, discussion for another time. So... Nitrogen fixation, huh? There wouldn't be hardly any nitrogen, yet we're expected to believe that these plants came out on the surface of the earth all happy and growing and smiling and all this. But sorry, it doesn't work that way. Because the surface of the earth would have been radically different from anything that we understand today. No nitrogen in soil, no biological activity. They simply couldn't have grown. Now there are uh, plant. There are such things as carnivorous plants, and what these carnivorous plants do is they uh, extract nitrogen from insects. That's also a discussion from another time. The point here is, there wouldn't have been the organic material to start with. There would be very little nitrogen in the soil. And you cannot sit there and expect that the plants would just come out on the surface and start growing. Because they couldn't have. If you would have planted something, if you go back in time and plant something, it's going to turn yellow, spindly, and it will die. Simple as that. Here's uh, how nitrogen gets lost from soil leaching, denitrification, volatilization, crop removal, soil erosion, runoff.
Well, there wouldn't have been that much to uh, leech out anyway. One of the ways that we add uh, nitrogen, interestingly enough, is through chemical fertilizers made by uh, made with uh, petroleum, and those are a little bit on the hot side, as in radioactive. It's one thing to remember. So they take that right out of the earth. Yeah, they're radioactive to an extent. I think if you were to go in your average uh, home and garden store and use a Geiger counter, you might register some. Well, that's about it. Nitrogen, uh, forget it. There wouldn't have been any nitrogen. Plants couldn't have crawled out on the earth, not without some kind of assistance, without something being in the soil, some kind of design. This is the whole point here, people. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.